All right, we're back everyone. Weeds can grow almost anywhere and they really are kind of an annoyance. In this week's Next to Nature, we learn why those plants can survive for so many of our weather conditions. All right, welcome back to Next to Nature this week. Dr. John Long joining us, and we're talking about something this week that uh, you see everywhere, but nobody really likes them. No. <laughs> Weeds. No. <laughs> if you're trying to grow a garden, everybody hates them. That's I don't know true. anybody that likes them, but it's uh, one of the things is a definition of a weed is a plant out of place. So if you think about it, uh, if, you have, if you see a corn plant in a cotton field, the corn's a weed because that's not part of its natural uh, area that it's grown or the crop that's trying to be grown. And the same thing is weeds that we see here. Never really thought of a weed that mm -hmm. way. But uh, one thing that you were saying earlier to me was that weeds are adapted for hot weather middle of July, it's definitely hot. Right, they're, they're more adapted than something you're trying to grow, for instance. Uh, they do that because they have a lot of uh, survivability uh, based on their uh, the way that they're made up. The root system has something to do with that. Uh, they have nodules, some, some have nodules, some the roots are just set up to hold water. The plant, even through uh, its natural stages, through photosynthesis, some of their uh, ability to survive in hotter weather because of that. Uh, they can form a thicker cuticle which makes it less likely to dry out in some plants. <clears throat> so it just holds together basically it, and it if you look at the root system right. of it you were talking about how expansive it is it right. just keeps kind of going and going and right. going and that's what helps it stay alive. It is and it's kind of a mutualistic uh, uh, association they have with some plants that are actually joined together at the hip if you don't mind that that pun and they help they help conserve water together too so soil disturbance is one of the reasons that we see a lot of weeds uh, when you're trying to grow something that sticks out a lot more if you were to look at over in that direction you would see this type of grass everywhere and to us that's not out of its normal it looks like it's in its normal environment whereas here it's not so going back to that definition, a plant out of place is, is something that really sticks out. And one thing that people talk about is weed control. Right. Um, I guess good and bad parts of that. Right, some of those herbicides that you use are what's called non-selective. So if you're trying to grow something in your garden and everybody, if I can use the trade name of Roundup, everybody thinks you can go spray Roundup on everything, and that's just not true because Roundup is non-selective. It'll kill everything you spray on it for the most part. And uh, But there are some herbicides you can use in your garden that are selective based on what kind of crop you're growing. Uh -huh. uh, so anything that has glyphosate as an active ingredient is great for overall weed control, but anything other than that, you really need to consult somebody that's very familiar with herbicides or uh, such as a co-op, and they can tell you uh, what, what, for instance, you can use on specific crops as far as taking care of weeds. That's very important if you're trying to grow something, obviously. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Dr. Long. Thank you for joining us this week on Next to Nature. We'll see you again next week.